Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chew Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this lesson, we will be tackling another logic question. Okay, so let's get to the question. So the question states that when we write 72 as a product of two whole numbers, a and B, okay, so we actually need to identify what A and B is. What is the smallest value of A plus B? Okay, so this question actually looks pretty complicated, okay, but it is actually not too complicated as well, okay? So they said that 72 must be written as a product of two whole numbers. All we got to do is to actually list down all the factors of 72. Okay, so we have 1 times 72, okay, we have 2 times 36, okay, we have 3 times 24, okay, we also have 4 times 18, okay, and we also have 6 times 12, and last but not least, we have 8 times 9 okay so these are all the factors of 72 okay which means that you will notice that now they, they will be the product of two whole numbers right it's either 1 and 72 or 2 and 36 or 3 and 24 or 4 and 18 or 6 and 12 or lastly 8 and 9 so we from here we can actually identify which is A and which is B already, okay? So we need to work out what the smallest value of A plus B equals to, which means to say that we just need to find the smallest value in each, okay? So the smallest sum of them, so in this case, the smallest sum is equals to 1 plus 72, which is equals to 73, okay? Let's not call this smallest, let's call this the total sum. Okay, so the total sum for my first one is actually equals to 73. Okay, for my next one, okay, my next line, my total sum is equals to 2 plus 36, which is equals to 38. So you'll notice that it starts to get smaller. Okay, so in my third line, my total sum Okay, this must be equals to 3 plus 24, and this will give me 27. The next one, my total sum, is actually equals to 4 plus 18, which is equals to 22. Okay, my next one, my total sum, is equals to 6 plus 12, which is equals to 18. Okay, and last but not least, the last one, my total sum is equals to 8 plus 9, which is equals to 17. Okay, and you'll notice that from all of this, the smallest sum is actually equals to 17. Okay, it does not matter which is A or which is B. Okay, A can be 8, A can be 9, similar for B, it does not matter. Okay, because ultimately we are finding the sum of A plus B. Okay, therefore we can straight away say that the smallest value of A plus B okay, is what we worked out earlier over here, okay, which is equals to 17. And that is your answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.